All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, friends. Happy Friday. It is Full Body Friday. Um, and full transparency, I am actually pretty sore and tired, so I'm not going to do this workout. But I wanted to provide you all with a workout demo of all the exercises so that you can drop this on your own. So what you need today are just some dumbbells. You can only work with one or you can do both. Um, so I will show you what we're getting into with our first set. Um, you will do a, ideally, don't just hop into it, you'll do a five minute warm up on your own before this, getting those joints loosened up, getting some blood pumping, and then you will get into a straight leg deadlift. So we did these earlier this week with a band. I want you to grab your dumbbells once again and just try it with a different piece of equipment and see how your balance is looking these days. So actually it's gonna be a two-footed deadlift because we're gonna do single leg in our next circuit. So straight leg deadlift with both feet underneath your hips, tall torso, hinge over. We're going for that good stretch in the glutes and hamstrings as we keep our back nice and flat and sting back up. Inhale over, exhale up. And then we're gonna get into a lateral lunge. So once again, this is where you can work with one dumbbell or two. I'm gonna go ahead and work with two just for purposes here. But a lateral lunge, we're just gonna step out, sit back into our butt, and then come back up. We're gonna do 10 per side, okay? Then we'll go into goblet squats. So goblet squats are done with one bell, and you're fighting for that really upright torso. So sitting back, 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 keeping your chest nice and upright and facing forward versus a super hingy squat. I want you to sit back in a chair, get that butt down. If that means you go to right here before you start hinging over, then this is your threshold, okay? Keep that upright torso and work within a range that feels good, okay? All right. Then we are moving into our straight circuit. That is going to be with 20, 20 single arm alternating dumbo swings. So just one swing or 10 swings per arm. So we hike it in on our inhale. Exhale, thrust your hips forward to get the dumbbell up. We're going to switch at the top. Down, up. So 20 total. And then we're going to go into a single leg deadlift row. So this is where, once again, you may work with two dumbbells or just one, but we're going to be holding a hinge with the straight leg deadlift and rowing into our arm and waist and then back up. We're going to do 10 this leg, row, come back up, and then 10 on the other leg. If you would like, um, I am doing a double loaded side, same leg, same arm. If you want to do contralateral, you can hold the dumbbell with the other arm and row, okay? Loading up that side with both your dumbbell and your leg is a little bit more difficult because doing it on the opposite side provides you a little bit more balance between both sides. So challenge yourself, meet yourself where you're at, try both if you want, stick with which one feels best for you. All right, and then we are getting into a forward lunge, ideally, with a dumbbell overhead hold. So I'm gonna demo that movement really quick. So once again, you can do same leg, same arm, step, come back up, or you could do opposite arm, opposite leg, forward, okay? But I want you to work whichever one you choose the whole time before you switch, okay? And then you would switch and go to the other side for 10. So, a few different variations with that. Once again, you can double load one side or you can go contralateral. If holding your dumbbell overhead is too difficult, pull it down to your shoulder. If going into a forward lunge is too difficult, then go into a reverse lunge. Once again, you can hold on your shoulder, drop into a reverse lunge, or continue with that forward lunge. Or if necessary, you can stick with your legs staying spread apart 
and just going down and up, okay? Lots of different variations here, okay? The purpose of this overhead hold is to have that shoulder stability and the core control as our legs move underneath us, okay? So strong lockout with the elbow, bicep by your ear, ribs stay down and control as we step forward back to the side. If your shoulder gets tired, bring it, or yeah, bring it down. It's totally fine, okay? All right, and then our last exercise is gonna be push up to pike. So we did these the other day. Lots of different variations here, but we can go push up to pike. This can be done from your knees. Push up, hop on your toes, pike it up. Or you could do this from an inclined surface. Okay, so pretend there's a box here, we would push up and then push those hips up and away. All right, that would be done for three rounds. So it's three rounds, 20, 10 single leg dumbbell throw, 10 uh, lunge with a dumbbell overhead hold, 10 pike push ups. I'll put this in the description under the video. And then for our last circuit, you'll um, most likely need a um, yoga mat for your elbow. Sorry, I didn't grab one here just for this demo, but please have one handy if you're on a hard surface like me. But our first exercise, we're going to be doing two sets of 10 each, but the middle one's a hard count. Get there when we get there. Two, side, or two sets of 10 of a side plank, reach through, okay? So this is pretty advanced in regards to shoulder strength and balance and core control. So meet yourself where you're at, okay? Once again, you can do full side plank like I did. You can even, um, on your elbow, you can even come up onto a long lever of your arm. You have more range of motion there. You can do this from your bottom knee, top leg long, on your elbow or from this long lever arm. Or you can do this from an incline surface, okay? And then we're gonna do dumbbell pull throughs. This is gonna be a hard count, meaning we're doing 10 pulls with each arm for 20 total. So we get in our plank position, either from the knees or high plank. We put our hands in front of the dumbbell, and then we pull through with the outside hand. Pull it under through, reach under, pull. We're trying to just move our arms here. Hips stay square to the ground. And then we'll do the side plank reach through on the other side. And that is it, my friends. So once again, I'll put all of the sets and reps in the uh, description below the video. But that is it. I hope you have fun. Um, a lot of these movements we've already done this week, but we're switching it up a little bit, stepping our game up, making it a little bit more difficult. Once again, if you're not quite there, then just scale it back just a little bit. Move in a range and a uh, variation of the exercise that feels really strong for you, okay? Form over everything. You'll get there one day if you're not quite there. But just now, I wasn't there either at one point. I've worked my way here. So you're on the journey. You're doing great. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day.